today I'll be showing you how to use Grammarly, how to download Grammarly, and what Grammarly can do for you. So first you want to go to Grammarly.com, and then you want to click Add to Chrome. You want to put in your name, your email, and the password. Any password will do, it doesn't have to be a specific one. Then you want to hit Native Speaker, or Non-Native, depends. And since I already have an account, I can log in. And once you log in, there will be a couple of sheets. One, I'll show you how, like, the mistakes. So sometimes if you put a mistake in it, yeah, see, so you'll come up with other words. Synonyms, sometimes definitions, depending on the word, like, and the synonyms, sometimes there'll be definitions in there. Once you're done, you can just click to My Grammarly, and there's a profile where you can have, well, input your own words in your own dictionary. You can change from American British, from American English to British English, but probably stick with American English. Then you can change your name, your email, and password. This will also, sometimes it'll come up with available for Windows. And just don't click premium. So Grammarly can do a lot. can help. It's available. It also works for other apps. Like, sometimes, it definitely works in G3000. And it'll work in other apps but it just does not work in google docs and slides so yeah that's how you download and use grammarly thank you for watching and goodbye